Hey, hello everybody, welcome back. Doing some flashback. Magic. Flashing it back today. Um, so, uh, we had 214 votes last week. Um, Poly Breach came in last place with 36. Breach Protocol. And, uh, now it's gone. Uh, Mono Blue Tron. be let go. Exactly. Mono Blue Tron, 46 votes. Crater Hoof Dredge with 60 votes. And Black White Tokens with 72 votes. So that's what you got. Black White Tokens. So, for next week, uh, Mono Blue Tron returns. Crater Hoof Dredge returns. And the two new ones that we're gonna do, uh, these are both suggestions that we had. Uh, All in Red, which I think, I believe was a Patreon deck we did a long time ago, so it'd be interesting to take, or do our take on someone else's list. Yes. Because that's kind of how we're gonna do it. People wanted it, so. We'll yeah. Back. Yeah. And, uh, a lot of people were asking, like, if Patreon decks will count towards this. We weren't going to originally, but we figured, yeah, why not? Because it's kind of, it's interesting when you take someone else's list and then we can actually add to it instead of just mm-hmm. playing it exactly as is. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, and Cruel Lore is the other one, which has also been asked for for a very long time. So Good old living lore and Cruel yeah, Ultimatum list. Yeah. Everyone likes Cruel Ultimatums, and plus it's been like, what, 16 episodes <laughs> since we've seen a Cruel Ultimatum, so that's going to be good. So those will be there, and yeah. now they won't be there. And you go first, I believe, and yes, we'll see you in... I'm the challenger. Exactly. And we'll see you in game one. All right, game one. Go ahead. We've got... Those. Whoop. And for me... That's what I've got. Fix this table quickly. All right, good. Yeah, I kind of knocked it when I was. Yes. Yeah. Noticed. Courtyard. Mm-hmm. And the Inquisition. All right. Could have just left it out, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm not stopping the turn one bird. <laughs> no. So I'm more afraid. Hmm. We're going to take the Glitter English. Yeah, that, I was going to say, that can be pretty scary, too, actually. Even if it's not a one. There can be a lot of different cards, yeah. potentially. So. Yeah, exactly. Enter go. Draw a card. All right. Well, we're going to open up a can of peas. Go 19. And a kitty. Good. Untap. Everyone digs a kitty. Draw for turn. That's what I always say. Godly Shrine tapped. Yep. And I'm going to push the kitty. Don't push the kitty! Ah, that's so rude. Enter go. She's such a cute little kitty. Um, okay. Well. I guess in that case, untap stomping ground, 17. Birdie. Ouch, 16. Birdie. Good. Hmm. Untap. Drop return. Marsh Flats. Crack going to 19. Mm-hmm. Let's find... Basic Plains. I wouldn't quite call that basic. It is a silver bordered. <laughs> Rise of Eldrazi silver bordered. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice foil planes. And... I think we go... Liliana the Veil. Alright. Sack a creature. Alright. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Untap. Draw a card. So, so far, uh, this tokens deck <laughs> hasn't really uh, produced any tokens. I've noticed. Um... Hmm. Just a Let's see. We'll play a very sad tapped hallowed fountain. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Each discard. A lingering souls. Greeting pool. That one's pretty good. Yeah, and we're just gonna flash it back right now. Sure. Get a couple tokens. 
which you can get at store.forestbear.net. Links in the description. We need to, the reason that we stocked up on those is because Mr. Boopster has alimony payments that he has to make. Yeah. So we got to help him out with that. And a sampling vent. Mrs. Boopster just, uh, you know, will not let him, will not let him go. Enter go. I mean, who would ever want to let that go? Yeah. Um. Untap. Draw a card. Well, I don't really need any more of those. Um. Let's see. Kessig Wolf Run. Pass the turn. Exciting. Yeah. Untap. Drop return. I mean, I can get bird to a one two. <laughs> that doesn't seem very good. Could actually damage Liliana. It's true. Actually, she doesn't pump toughness, so it's still just trade for a spirit. Mm -hmm. Each discard. Windswept beef. Lingering souls. Ah, another one. And we'll flash that one back too. Hmm. I'll spell queller that one. How does that work? I think... Oh, so you may cast it from your flashback cost, then exile it. But you are exiling it, so it's still the same trigger. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. But then when it comes back, it's, and I cast it, then it's going to go back to the graveyard, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, <laughs> pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure. Well... I have a path for it. Uh, of course you do. <laughs> I definitely don't need any more lands. That's what I've decided. So, casting that Lingering Souls gets us two spirits. That's why I was hesitant to two. do that the first time. Because it would cost me life yeah. to do it. And I'm like, if you got a removal spell, that's terrible. But Two. Fourteen. But second one... Yeah. <laughs> Gotta go for it. Good? Yeah, here we go. And a turn, I'll crack this. Because I'm tired of lands. Um, It's good land to have when you're land flooded. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. For that purpose. Untap. Draw a card. Speaking of lands, <laughs> there's another one. Um. Hmm... The turn they just make a big trampling bird just to deal with Liliana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted to. I'm really tempted to. Um. Hmm. Very unfortunate lands right now. Well, actually, it's not that horrible. Go for a glittering wish. Yep. So go to my sideboard. I'll get oh. this. Is it Staticaster? Oh. Which I will then cast, and then I will... Spirits. <laughs> yep. Pass the turn. That sucks. Yeah. Untap. I was I was thinking, like, I, I can go for a Wrath, but this is pretty much just as good as a Wrath, so... I mean, pretty. yeah, sack like creature. Bird. Sad bird. I can only hit creatures, correct? Yes, yeah. So, is that. It's true. And activate Shambling Vent. Yep. Two. I will take two and go to 12. 21. Enter go. Unzap. Draw a card. It's not terrible. Um. Hmm. You know what I'm really tempted to do? <laughs> well, you know what? The Liliana's at... Like, it has to go up if it's going to go anywhere. So, I guess it's not that pressing. So I'll play a Voice of Resurgence. Pass the turn. Untap. I was tempted to Kessig Drop Wolf run the Staticaster just to take down Liliana. <laughs> if there's ever a card off the top. Intangible Virtue. <laughs> Alright. 
It's pretty good. And, I mean, you need something to go with it. Raise the alarm. That goes with it. Two soldiers. Which are also available at this forest fair store. Alimony. Boopster. You know. Each discard a card. Got nothing. Got nothing. Enter go. Okay. Well. Interesting. Bzzz. Just for funsies. <laughs> <laughs> Draw a card. Okay. Huh. What do I do here? That's really good against me. Yeah, Intangible Virtue really uh, stopped Snapcaster, Static Caster shenanigans. Yeah, it does. Um. Hmm. So there's both two twos? Yes. Hmm. Attack Liliana for two. So you could potentially pump by two. Um, double lock it. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, I think it's worth it. So I'll pump it by two, but I'll also bzzz both these for one, so oh. that two trample gets through. Nice. Didn't S think of that. Yeah, still kind of a trade, but at least I take down the Liliana this way. Get a little elemental out of it, too. Pest turn. Which, unfortunately, doesn't get pumped Unta by your intangible virtue. Draw for turn. Hidden stockpile. Okay. Lash back lingering souls. Yep. Some big boys. And I could trade one of these for just a two two on the ground. But I also got a scry out of that, so I think it's worth it. So yep. sack one. Descry one. I think that's just gonna stay right there. <laughs> Always Intergo. good to hear. Unzap. Draw some good. That's eh, not good. Hmm. 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 <laughs> so. Got some dudes. Hmm. Tireless Tracker. I just need some lands to go with them. Yep. Sure do. Except I think he already <laughs> threw all of those. Yeah. Fortunately in the wrong order. Hmm. You don't have any souls in there or anything? No. Okay. No. Attack for three. Take it. Go to 18. Good. Untap. Drop return. Let's see what that big thing that you... Ah, okay, you. yeah, that's going to mash my taters. <laughs> um, six. Yeah? Hmm. How important is this tracker to have? <laughs> my guess is not overly... You have nothing in hand? Nothing in hand. Obviously, because you did that. Except if you trade, then I get revolt. I might just get another servo. True. But otherwise, I just sack it, scry one, get another and yeah. servo. So. so do I soak up a little <laughs> teeny weeny bit of damage? Is that worth it? <sighs> but two. I'm at 12, so I'm like two attacks away from death. So I think I'm going to... going to trade? I'm going to trade. Yeah. And I'll take three. Go to nine. Enter go. Yep. In step. Servo. Draw a card. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Um. Hmm. Noble Hierarch. 
Retreat to Coralhelm. Pass the turn. Untap. I'm in a lot of trouble. Draw for turn. Lot of trouble. Six. Hmm. Interesting. Yep. Go to three. And Saram's expertise. Okay. <laughs> no value, luckily. Not that it matters. And Making a couple three sack threes this one is pretty to good. Scry one. Yep. To the bottom. Enter go. End step, get my back. Ping. Untap. Draw a card. Huh. Actually, you know what? That's pretty good. No, it's not. You have intangible virtue. <laughs> Two of them. Uh. Fetch land would have been sweet. As it stands, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. So. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just do what would have been sweet. So. Ping servo. Play land, untap. Uh, <laughs> Pink servo. The double intangible virtue yeah, mattered. But, but that mattered quite a bit. So I'm not I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm definitely just dead. So I will send for three. I'll allow him to trade for this dusting robot. Pump it by three. And Ping it for one, so it gets one extra trample in. Oh, and Noble Hierarch, also. So, so four, uh, five, six, seven. So it's seven, seven, I'm and you have a three, you. one. Yeah. Yeah. So I go to 11. Or not, yeah, yeah, that's right. Wait, does this die? Uh, yeah, because How you, much tough? Um, no, because it, it's oh, yeah, got four from Exalted. Hierarch, so. Yeah, that's right. Doesn't even die. I said seven, seven, but I meant seven power. Yeah. Yeah, so a little bit trickles through there. Not a ton, but pass the turn. Untap. Pretty sure you got me. Drop a turn. Activate no matter what. Event. Deal. Swing. Oh, you didn't even draw anything cool? I mean, it was just an inquisition. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I'll just take it. All right. So that was game one. That went flying, almost off the table. And we'll see you in sideboarding. Okay, sideboards. So I'll go first for this. Um, much like if you were watching the video last week, uh, you don't really want to sideboard much because of Glittering Wish. Like, it's better to just have five copies of some of these cards than it is to have one in your deck. Yeah. So, uh... Well, four. Sure, sure. Um, five for the... Yeah, I was thinking of, like, yeah. Yeah, you can bring things. one in, but you always want to leave one. Just yeah, exactly. Just Glittering Wish it back yeah. in. Um, so, uh, in that regard, gonna definitely bring in Supreme Verdict, probably the foil one, uh, because that's pretty good. You don't want more copies of the foil one? No. <laughs> uh, just, that's fine. And I think I'm gonna bring in a Finx, because I've got duplicates of that. Now, there are cards like this and this, which are great in this matchup, but, like I was saying, I'd rather you'd, have more yeah, copies. Yeah, you'd rather have four copies of that. <laughs> and, uh, these are really bad in the matchup, Path to Exile. So, uh, it's really good when you target a spirit token. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty solid. It's basically, I'll give you a land and trade for half of your card. <laughs> anyway, so, these come in, those go out. Go ahead. As for me, you haven't seen this yet, so we got Aven Mind Sensor. Pretty good against the deck. It's trying to search with a whole bunch of lands. So that'll be joining. Uh, Calm Ball. This is for like Storm, Burn, things that basically they have to answer it and you're gonna gain a bit of life in the meanwhile. Not really relevant here. Wrath of God, he doesn't have a creature swarm that we have to worry about, so we're not bringing that in. Murder's Cut, just extra removal if you need it. Collective Brutality, it's interesting. The removal spell is not going to hit often, and Instant Sorceries, it's like what his math removal spell is the only one we'd want to hit, so it's not really useful. 
Sundering Growth is pretty good. I mean, it's basically always going to make a token, and other than that, it's a disenchant. It can hit the one thing. I think we're going to take the Anguish I'm making, though, because this can just hit a creature, so in case he doesn't, you know, have the enchantment, it's not a dead card. Mm -hmm. Cutting Needle could be pretty good in this matchup. I mean, turning off one of the options. Blessed Alliance is for all index that use Death Shadow or Infect because it makes them sack an attacking creature so they can't just hexproof it. Two Surgical Extractions for combo and things like that. Two Rest in Peace, which, I mean, yeah, this is kind of the best card for the matchup, so we'll bring those. And then two Timely Reinforcement for Aggro Lists. So these are the four cards we're going to bring in. So we're going to take out Liliana. Sram's Expertise, because it's kind of our most expensive token producer, yeah. and sometimes it's just, yeah, it's just four mana for three dudes. Like in that last game. Yeah, exactly. Seems... One Bitter Blossom, and one Path to Exile, basically upgrading to an Anguish and Making. All right. And we will see you in game two. All right, game two. Show my hand. Yeah. Go ahead. And I've got... Those. Okay. Tap to Halifound. Go. Exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Drop turn. For the deck with tons of one drops. Conceal the courtyard. Very exciting. Turn. Thought sees. All right. So, uh, those are your choices. I don't like that spell queller, but I think I don't like Glittering Wish more. It does so. fetch the other half of this kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, so. with two retreats? No. Mm -hmm. Sir, at 18? Yeah. Enter go. Unzap. Draw a card. Well. Go. <laughs> Untap. Draw a turn. Aired Mesa. Crack that going to 17. Y'all. Going to find a planes. And a hidden stockpile. Yep. Drago. Aired Mesa left, so I get a 1-1. One, one. Untap. Draw a card. Okay. Planes. Go. Untap. Draw for turn. Go to combat. Yep. Attack for 1. 19. Somehow managed to not damage myself. It's so weird for this deck. And. Aired Mesa. Yep. Crack that, going to 16. Going to find a planes. Mm hmm. Enter go. On my end step. Get a mm. one. Do I just do it? Yeah. Like having the power in play. So, that's good, I assume? Yeah. Untap. Draw a card. Okay. Attack for two. Fourteen. Play a retreat to Coral Helm. And then a windswept heath. Which will... Mm. Let's see here. Untap Spell Queller. And then we'll crack this. Go to 18. To fetch... A Basic Forest. And... That will scry one. Sure. 
And a Noble Hierarch. Pass turn. End of your turn. Anguish on making on. Sure. Because we know we ha you have a second uh, retreat, so it's not really worth it there. No. <laughs> Going to 11. All right. Go ahead. Untap. Draw for turn. Godless Shran. <laughs> Untapped. <laughs> Gun to nine. Seem like a Shrans to me, probably. Boy, that was taken out, but we do have Sor and Solomon. Oh, you took out all the copies of it. There's only one copy in the main, cause it's... Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. It makes, it's okay, but... Yeah. Soren's sure. just better as the top end. And this probably makes more so servos anyway. <laughs> yeah. And it has the added scribe yeah. and everything else. Not that it's going to this turn. I don't think it is, is it? Nothing left? Nothing left. So, going to go up. Giving my creatures plus one, plus oh, and lifelink until my next turn. Yep. Four. I will take four. Going to 14. I get to go up to 13. Yup. Enter go. Um, sack a creature each upkeep. That's his emblem. Okay. Draw a card. Not a super exciting emblem. No. Okay. It's interesting. I mean, not really. I was thinking of really, like but... Oath of Gideon, because then I just ah. put you one turn away from uh, sure. playing this, but it didn't seem worth it, because, yeah, that mm -hmm. emblem's pretty unexciting. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Okay. Um, green. Misty Rainforest. Untap. It's like you built yourself a... Uh... Sort of, yeah. The snake. I forgot his name now all of a sudden. Um, can I do... Oh, no, not quite. Uh, Lotus Cobra. That's, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Built my own Lotus Cobra. <laughs> um. Sure. Well. What did I say? Green or white? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Yeah, Maybe. it doesn't really matter. Glittering Wish. So put it this way. Oh no. So. Head to my sideboard here and i'm tempted to get the static caster but i don't have red so <laughs> i mean i can get red i suppose but uh, i think i gotta go for the combo here probably so we'll get knight of the reliquary yep and then at least it has some goodness. true i mean you have a turn to deal with it um so cast knight then, let's see, so one, two, yeah, okay. Blue, crack, 13. Um, we'll get another forest, untap. You want a green. What could that mean? It's not that exciting. You know what's in my hand. Retreat. Go. Ah, yes. <laughs> I mean, think of all those untapped triggers. Yeah. You can get messy if you don't have removal. Untap. Which you probably do, but... Draw for turn. So we're going to pay a mana. Yep. Sack this. Describe one. Are you doing this? Did you draw already? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, that's going to just stay there. Okay. Then we're going to push that. Yep. Needed the revolt trigger. Ah. And Makes sense. Intangible virtue. Ugh. Oh, okay. Very good combo that's with Sora. pretty good. So, plus one, plus oh, and lifelink. Yep. Three. Mm-hmm. Go to ten. Go to Don't 16. think I can win this. After all. Good. And it's your go. Unzap. Draw a card. Well. So Soren can go off again. Which probably isn't even worth it, to be honest. <laughs> no, kind of, uh... 
Mm-hmm. Having vigilance lifelink. Yeah. It's just superior. Hmm. Ghost quarter. Scry one. Bottom. Scry one. Sure. <laughs> Um, actually, let's see, I'm at 10. Mm. Let's also put that on the bottom. I think we have, I think we're at the point where we have to start digging for specific things. You either need a supreme or a... Yeah. Glittering wish. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Do I boop one of your lands with this now so you don't get the free revolt trigger? I think maybe I do. Or do I save it? I'll save it. Go ahead. Untap. Just in case. Drop return. No cards in hand? Nothing. Lingering souls. Yep. Basically demands you to find an answer. I mean, I kind of needed to anyway. <laughs> Fault of the Archangel. Oh, that's even worse. I mean, I kind of already have the providing lifelink, so... Yeah. Which we shall do. So one plus one lifelink. Six. Do I need the Noble Hierarch that much? For anything that I... No, I don't. Block. Oh, do I? Maybe I do. Because I need three white if I get a glittering wish. Yeah, I guess. The double white casting cost might matter. Yeah, so I gotta take it. Ooh. Go to fort. Enter go. Hmm. Oh, that's not great. <laughs> uh, what do I do? What do I do? Hmm. Yeah, I'm in horrible shape here. Pass the turn. Untap. Drop return. Pumps. Yep. Twelve. Well, hang on. Before. All right, I guess. Go yeah. to combat. Um. Dragon. Ghost quarter one of your own things in order to get a land. So I'll make a green. A ghost quarter the forest. Hopefully I still have a basic in here. Yes, I do. To get a forest. And then I'll tap down a spirit with that. Then... Flash in a spell queller. No, go ahead. <laughs> Swing. Take three. Go to one. And I'm getting nine. Don't think it matters. Probably not. And we'll sack servo. Yep. Scry one. Two is the bottom. I mean, I still have one chance at this, but not a very good one. And got the shrine tapped. Yep. Jurgo. Untap. Draw a card. Hmm. Scry. Scry. <laughs> Deal. Good. <laughs> Untap. Oh, well, that was a beating. <laughs> Draw for turn. Just a little bit. Turns out removal and permission, pretty good against me. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the lucky matchup, with having the deck with no removal spells and yeah. creature-centric combo. Mm -hmm. Here's a Bitter Blossom. 
Yep. It's not going to produce anything, but we have it. Why and not? It's Japanese. Exactly. Pumps. Deal. Twelve. Sure. I will take it. All right. So, that was a disappointing end to this deck, I'd say. But uh, that's Just all right. Just a little bit. That's all right. So, uh, don't forget to vote. Crater Hope Dredge, Mono Blue Tron, Cruel Lore, all in red. Link will be in the description for that. Uh, you can get tokens such as these at our store, which is great. Um, which, uh, you know, goes goes towards helping Mr. Boopster deal with Mrs. Boopster's shenanigans. And we'll see you next week. And what? on Friday. Yeah.